Well, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Soaring Together. And today we have on some new hats. When we were with our friends there in Kansas at the Heavy Duty Truck Rally, they had hats designed for Soaring Together. So you can see the Soaring Together on the front with the eagle. And on the side, I'm the director. And what are you, Ricky? The flunky. The flunky. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't consider you a flunky. You always tell me you're just the driver. And the donkey, so <laughs> donkey, flunky, but same thing. But anyway, we want to thank all of our friends who did this for us, and they also all had caps made. So, uh, just want to say thank you and and uh, thank you for being our friends. We always Absolutely. have a good time with you, and you know who you are. So you are the their hats. Uh, so cast member. Cast members is what they had put on the side of theirs. So they've all been in our videos. So they consider themselves a cast member. And what is it? Uh, was it Paul or Joe said? It's Joe that says uh, he's he has been the star of the show. Show. So anyway, we miss you all. We had a good uh, couple weeks with you and. Well, Joe and Anna, we were together about five weeks, yeah. but we just had a good time uh, the latter part of the summer with all the rallies that we did. So speaking of rally, um, in this video, we're going to talk with Valerie, and Valerie and her husband are uh, the two that actually started the heavy duty truck rallies. And their main mission for starting the rally was for safety on the road. And they had pulled, I think, their campers with smaller trucks, and and they decided they needed something larger just for stopping and and for safety. So uh, they decided they would share the information that they had, and and uh, so they started the rallies. Uh, it was handed off, I believe, to maybe one other person, and then Stephen Gale did it for about 12 years, and now we have Stephen Lisa that are. Uh, the organizers of the rally and they did an awesome job this year just want to say thank you to them okay. well uh, today we are at the 2022 national heavy duty truck rally in Hutchison Kansas and we're here with a very special lady and her name is Valerie Gay Galen Valerie and her husband started these truck rallies many years ago so Steve's going to talk with Valerie and we're going to get behind the camera. First question is, why are we here? Originally, we were here for safety. And that was the whole intent of having this rally, was teaching people that had no clue about driving a big rig to start with, um, what to look for, uh, what to, how to maintain your trucks, how to uh, safely drive down the road. That was the original intent of the rally. Whose idea was it? It was my idea. Uh, my husband brought it to, to life, uh, along with Kenny Doonan, who is the Peterbilt dealer in Wichita, Kansas. Um, he was instrumental in getting it really going. Um, <clears throat> he uh, provided a garage for us to, he, well, he opened his entire facility for us to uh, learn about um, taking care of your truck, uh, the maintenance mainly. So you started off with a Peterbilt? Uh, actually, no. We had a, a Volvo. Um, it was, uh, I can't remember the year. <laughs> it's been a long time ago. Um, it was a black. It had a tall condo like okay. interior there. And um, we had that truck. We bought it in uh, 1997, I think it was, and um, then had Kenny Doonan um, 
then after we retired in, in 2001, we took the truck to Wichita and had Kenny build the bed for us. And it was the first bed that he had ever built. And so it was a learning experience for him as well. And um, we had that truck for two days and we were T-boned on uh, Interstate 25 in, My in Wyoming, just outside of Casper, Wyoming. Two days. Yeah, we had it for two days. And then uh -huh. so uh, we were a month in, in Casper and waiting for insurance to come through, et cetera, et cetera. And so we finally bought another truck, called Kenny and took it down and he built us another bed. Only this time we made a few changes because in the two days we discovered that there were some things <laughs> that uh, we wanted different. So. And that's one thing about this is, is you may be happy with your bed, but it's ever evolving. It it's like, you know what, I should have done this, or I should have done that, or why didn't I think of this before? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what this is all about is um, we learn from each other. Uh, we not only learn from the experts, we learn from uh, my experience and, and your experience are different. And uh, each one of us has a different idea as to what we need, what we want in our, uh, in our trucks, in our um, RVs. And, the the uh, mission profile. Exactly. And it's called. Yeah. So that's that's what it's all about. Is. So you guys had held the first rally in what year? I believe it was either 2002 or 2003. Um, how many years did you guys host it? I think it was either six or seven years. I'm not positive. I don't... You know, they, the years kind of roll into one, and right. it's been quite a long time ago, so. And then, and, did Steve and Gail take it over from you? Yes. Yeah, Steve and Gail have done an outstanding job with it. Um, they, uh, they took it over, and, and uh, then I think we came to Hutchison. We, we left Wichita because it got too big for the RV park that we were at. And I mean, we started out with 12 rigs, and um, then when we left uh, Wichita, we had the year before we left, we had 57, I think, wow. rigs um, that arrived and uh, or signed up, and you know we were only allowed to have like 60 spaces. So when the following year, we ended up coming up here. Um, Actually, I guess Larry Everly took it over uh, for a short time, and he got the Kansas uh, State Fairgrounds okay. uh, for us because he's a resident of Kansas. Okay. And, uh, and then from there, um, Steve and uh, Gail took over. Yeah. When I was going through this stuff in the storage locker, I ran across the, the camera card for Canon camera, and luckily I had it thing that I could read it. And I was looking looking through some of the pictures and, and there's Steve and Gail from 2011. And they were, they were you know, kind of, oh wow, look how young they look. <laughs> so, yeah. Because they, they had this for 12 years, I believe. Yeah, they had it quite a while. I know that, yeah. I just hope I can do half as good a job as They've well, so far, so good. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, from what I've seen, yeah, you're doing a great job. Yeah, I, I hope to do this with them too at some point. Yeah. Uh, just to keep the continuity, keep the history alive. Right. We have had a great time in our uh, 16 years of uh, full time RVing, and uh, and since my husband passed, uh, I was still full time for another couple of years and then I had to give it up. It was just too hard to do by myself. So it, yeah. it can be a lot of work in set up. Yeah. The set up and tear down was the yeah. part that, that bothered me because I I was a pro professional driver before all this started. And um, 
So I knew how to drive it, I knew how to hook it up, I knew how all that, but uh, the getting to the park and setting up and, you know, the general maintenance. The and heavy lifting. Stuff, the heavy lifting, I just couldn't do. So, so here I am. I got a little, little camper now, and I'm here with the big guys. <laughs> and we're happy to have you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so how much have the trucks changed over the years? Oh, unbelievable. Um, I was talking to a couple t uh, yesterday, and they're telling me their truck is brand new, uh, 2022, and uh, I'm thinking back, and I'm, you know, kind of curious as to how much that truck cost, and, you know, it was a lot more than I spent on ours. Um, the first truck we bought um, cost us 17 dollars and it was about five years old when we got it. And then the second truck we got <laughs> was uh, a 98, a 1998, and uh, we paid 22.5 for that. And last year when I arrived at the campground here in, uh, at the rally, uh, I was looking out my camper uh, back door and uh, I was looking at this truck you know, sitting there, and I'm going, gee, that truck looks familiar. And I kept looking at it, and I looked at it, and that's my truck. Because I had sold it um, a couple of years before, and uh, my truck was sitting there right behind my camper, and it was there almost for the, the whole, uh, whole week. I'm sitting there looking at my truck going, I wish I had my truck back. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's got a good home now, so. Good, good. And <laughs> yeah, these, trucks, these trucks live on, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, they do. I mean, when we bought the truck, it had uh, about 500,000 miles on it. And we probably put another 100,000 on it, at least. People that attended that first rally, I think there's maybe five couples still still with us. You know, we've lost a lot of good friends and, you know, made a lot of good friends over the years. You know, good enough. With our truck, you know. Um, <laughs> my husband used to say, when somebody would come up to us and say, uh, do you think we've got enough truck? And he says, nah, I'm thinking about buying a bigger one. <laughs> um, I wish I had my truck still. I really do. But, and in fact, um, there, for the last two years that I, did, I wasn't full time, I just was six months out of the year, I would go to Arizona for the, for the winter, and um, I would just take the truck and drive down in the truck, and my camper was, was there in Arizona waiting for me. I had it in storage there. And so I would just use the truck as a camper, and that worked pretty well. Um, and it's, it's amazing how much room there is in the trucks. Unbelievable, yeah. yeah. They, they, see, they intimidate a lot of people. Yeah. Right? Especially first-timers, they're like, the thing is so huge. Yeah. But I haven't met a, a, a person yet that, can, that doesn't get in a truck, and it's like, wow, the field of vision is amazing. It's yep. like, but it's still so big, right? It's, it's still no wider it's, than a dually pickup. It, it's no it just, wider than a dually pickup. Yeah. 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 It's just taller. Yeah. And you're sitting way up high, and you can see forever. Yeah. The first time, the first time you're in traffic, towing a trailer, you know, and one of my first times was was in Atlanta, mm -hmm. which is horrible. Crazy, crazy yeah. traffic. Yes. But. You see all over the top of all the cars and all the pickups, so you know what's up ahead. Yes. You can see what's happening. Yep. Yeah. And not only that, your mirror space is so much bigger, and you can look in your mirrors and you can see what's beside you. You know what's behind you. Uh, with today's cameras um, on the back of uh, the yeah. motor fifth wheels and, and such. Um, and they're very affordable. You can see everything. And, yeah. yeah, so I, I had an incident. It's amazing. I had an incident in um, Indianapolis two weeks before the rally last year. We were going to visit my sister for her birthday, and 
had I had I been towing my camper with my dually, we'd have been in an accident. Yeah. But the fact that I had the big truck, because this guy decided he wanted space in front of me, you know, and it, and I was able to stop the truck and not have everything come out of cabinets and everything else, yeah. because the the truck's got the brakes to stop it and do it smoothly. Yeah. And whereas in the pickup, it would have been, you know. Yeah. You would have oh, fishtail. Oh gosh. Been, you yeah. Been, yeah. So, well, you know, I, I mentioned that um, this, the truck that we had last uh, was our second truck. Uh, the first truck, uh, we totaled the two days after we got it. A uh, guy came from the, across two lanes of traffic, across the median, and drove right into the side of us. A I guess he couldn't, he he couldn't see you. He didn't see us. And that was exactly what he told the uh, highway patrolman was. Uh, and, and thank God that none of us were hurt. Um, the, he hit us right in front of the back tire, which caused the trailer to jackknife. And it put us into a barrier ditch and uh, the trailer had hit the side of the truck so hard that it broke the cab mounts and the motor mounts. Wow. And nobody was hurt. I was hanging by my seatbelt. My husband was hanging by his seatbelt. Well, he, was, he wasn't as bad as me, but I was hanging by my seatbelt. And uh, the truck did not overturn. The trailer did not overturn and the hitch did not let loose. Yeah. Speaking of hitches, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of hitches now for the heavy duty trucks. And, um, what hitch did you guys start out with? We had a trailer saver hitch. Okay. And when I looked at that truck last year, that same trailer hitch was on that truck. Yeah, trailer, I think trailer saver might be one of the oldest. Yeah. And versions of an air ride hitch yeah. out there, yeah. which was originally made for the truck, the pickup truck market. Mm -hmm. um, but they get adapted to, to they our adapted use. They adapted to our use very well because the commercial hitches they don't have any side there's, to side. Well, not only that, there's no cushion, and it, uh, they're they're so stiff that they would beat your trailer to death. Yeah. Uh, it would you would get out of the truck and the truck would be just fine, but the trailer would be beaten to death. Whereas the, uh, the trailer saver, the ET, the, you know, there's lots of uh, hitches on the market now. I know mean, air hitches are um, much easier and softer on your, on your yeah. equipment. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, you, you still can't go flying over a railroad tracks and, you know, yeah. <laughs> 80 miles an hour, and you just don't do that. <laughs> okay. Thank you for having me. And thank you. And this year, this is Miss Valerie. Yep, I'm Valerie Galen. I'm the one that started all this. <laughs> <laughs> we can blame it all on her. If you're thinking about uh, HDT or even uh, MDT, which you know it's not it's not designed necessarily for MDTs, but uh, uh, a Freightliner M112 is a Class Seven truck, and I'll Jack in his seminars uh, says that a Class Seven and Class Eight truck is you know considered a heavy hauler. But that being said, uh, you can learn a lot of information and. Uh, get to meet some folks that can answer some questions for you and, and help you along the journey and uh, maybe point you in the right direction uh, in what you uh, would like to choose. I will say this, you know, I've been around trucks just about all my life, but I have learned a lot of different things. And there again, a lot of people has different ideas and you just look at it and you're thinking, wow, why didn't I think of that? So we can learn from one another, and I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, no one person has all the answers, and uh, so that's what coming together will do for you and does for us. And there again, you know, we just love to go a lot of times. 
uh, just to cut up and carry on and uh, just have a good time and the fellowship and the foods and you know just enjoying life together with uh, the people that love doing the same thing we do. If you have attended uh, an HDT truck rally in the comments below leave your comment and tell us some reasons why you attend the rallies, what you like about the rallies, what would influence other people that are looking for an HDT truck maybe to attend the rally, uh, something they would benefit from attending a rally. Also, Steve said that, you know, he's up for suggestions on anything that uh, may make the rally uh, improving, improving the rally. or, you know, just having something different. That's, uh, and he's up for suggestions and would look for uh, different things and uh, so comment below so comment below and just you know, we'll either answer or maybe Steve will answer yeah, some of the comments. Yeah, Steve will you know he, he said it more than once he says he's got big shoulders and he does <laughs> physically and literally so, he's got a big Jeep on the back of his truck too yeah, well, he's got a, <laughs> so we do want to thank you for viewing our channel as Ricky and I are soaring, soaring together, together and just mm. living life in different places. Amen. We are Ricky and Denise. We sold everything in 2020 and hit the road to RV full time. We travel in our Freightliner M2 truck, pulling our DRV JX450 full house that hauls our 2020 Harley Triglide. We invite you to travel along with us as we are soaring together.